Indigenous groups once again take to the streets in Ecuador's capital. But this time, it's a victory march. As the government and indigenous leaders reached an agreement on Thursday, putting an end to weeks of nationwide protests over soaring fuel prices and the high cost of living. But the indigenous leader says the fight will continue if solutions aren't delivered within three months. We suspend the national strike measures. In case the agreements are breached, in 90 days we'll have an obligation to demand to reinstate the strikes. From our side, we will put all our efforts into these agreements. As part of the deal, the government agreed to lower petrol and diesel prices by 15 cents each and to review executive decrees on oil exploitation and mining in indigenous lands and water sources. The agreement also lifts a state of emergency in four of the country's 24 provinces and allows for further negotiations between both sides. We can't allow violence to take over Ecuador. We can't allow our differences to deepen. Today is not an ending. Today is a beginning. Today is the first day of this grand dream of national reconciliation, as said by the indigenous leader. It's estimated around 14,000 people participated in the protests, which paralyzed parts of the country and left at least eight people dead. Indigenous people make up more than a million of the country's 17.7 million population, but are disproportionately affected by poverty and unemployment, which according to 2021 data affects more than a quarter of Ecuadorians.